Okay, well it's been a long time since I've done a video on uh, my 3D printing equipment. So what I recently added was this uh, filament dryer box by J.O. Now actually, of course, all of you that are familiar with filament dryer boxes, this is the Sunlu or Sulu, depending on how you like to pronounce their name, from like three years ago. And um, now it's also being sold under this name. You can find these uh, anywhere from $30 up to about $45, just depending on where you uh, shop and what kind of deal you got. Get them even cheaper if you get them used. Now, the uh, for for those of you who don't know, the point of this is, is there is a, a heater inside here. You put your roll of filament inside the box. It filament can then pass through this tube and go directly to your printer. It keeps the filament dry, takes the moisture out, so you'll have less stringing and less uh, bubbles and boogers all over your print. There, um, on the front you have controls. If you hit the button once, it'll turn on, and it'll basically tell you what the temperature is in the box. I just had it on, so it already says 42C. If you hit the button again, then it changes from uh, PV to SV, which is the set temperature and 44 is where I have it to set. You can change the temperature anywhere from 35C up to 55C for whatever you want. And if you hold the button in for about three seconds, one, two, three, it changes to show you how long it's going to stay on. Right now you can set, have it set for six hours. But you can use the buttons and you can change it anywhere from, well, from zero up to 24. You can get whatever you want and hold the button again for about three seconds and you go back to the original screen. It's on. The easiest way to turn it off if you didn't really want it and you accidentally turned it on is just unplug the power from the back of it. Runs on a little wall wart and the power just plugs in the back. Now the biggest um, problem isn't really a problem because it's, it's meant to heat up the filament to pull the moisture out but as it's sold it's all encased, it's all enclosed, so the moisture for people that have really moist things builds up on the, in the condensation builds up on the inside of the box. So once it cools down, the filament's just gonna suck that condensation back in again. Um, I've seen a lot of different YouTubes where they've added blowers and fans and drilled vent holes and did different things. So my solution to that whole thing moving it over so I can maybe see what I'm showing you. I don't know, the camera's pretty close. I've added, let's disconnect everything here. I've added an adjustable vent on the top. See right now it's open like a chimney. So if I have filament in there, I could keep it all closed up. But while I'm drying it and using it, I like to leave it open so it's like a chimney. I have a vent in the back also. So when I'm using it, I'll leave it that way so natural airflow due to the heat will take the moisture and remove it. If I'm gonna turn it off and leave the filament in there as a storage box, then all I have to do is rotate these two things till they're closed and it's sealed up. If you're not gonna leave it connected to your printer, of course you can pull this, this tube, which I use just to keep everything contained all the way to the printer and plug that little hole and then you're all sealed up. Also as long as we're looking on the inside the uh, filament roll runs on these metal bars and they, they have ball bearings eh, if you can see down in there on each side so there's four ball bearings on there so the filament turns really really easy. The angle that the uh, the guide for the PTF tube is really at the wrong angle. They have it set aiming into the center, which means a full row has got to take a, a sharp bend. And there's, there's no time that that aiming at the center would be correct because the inside hubs of your things are X big around, you know what I mean? Any other angle would have been better. And the one that's straight in the front, that's no good because again, that's heading straight in. What would be best would be a hole up here to the side, you know, right about, well, right about here. Because that way, if it's full, it's just a slight bend, and if it's empty, it's just a slight bend, and majority of the time, there's no bend at all. So again, so in case you're not familiar with how these things work, you can take 
basically any roll of filament. And it just sits on those rollers in there. Then you feed the end of that filament up through your tube. You don't have to use the tube, but if you're going with a complete and closed system, all the way through the tube and then all the way over to your 3D printer of choice. And in this particular case, I'm still using my old uh, Prusa Black Betty here. Um, I've had this for years and years, and the only mods other than their mods is I went to uh, Linear Rails just to make the thing run quieter. But other than that, it's been a, a workhorse. So, if you're having stringing problems, if you're having uh, other zits and farts and things on your prints and you can't get rid of them, odds are you have moisture buildup in your filament. A lot of people just use a food dehydrator, which is fine. It'll get the moisture out, but then you need a dry box to keep the filament in. Whereas this is small enough that you can just take it and it can sit anywhere. You could sit behind, except I'm in a little teeny uh, spare bedroom right now. This is the only place I can set it was in front of the printer. So it can sit here and feed the filament in, dry, and it makes a huge difference. I've been working on a project for the last week, and uh, that meant running 12-hour print parts. And if they're not right, changing them, running them again, testing them. They were covered with so much stringing that I'd spend more time trying to clean the stringing off. You know, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes just trying to clean all the stringing off between everything. So I went and ordered the dry box. It came right away. Started using it. Stringing all went away. All good. Spent zero time cleaning up the, the parts. So it was well worth the investment to uh, order one. And if you're having that kind of problem, you might want to think about it. You might want to design your own little uh, vent louvers to uh, allow air to naturally th flow through to get the moisture out. And then when it, you shut it off, if you're going to store your filament in there, just close everything up and then moisture won't migrate back in again. 